Previously on Canada's Next Top Model, the six models get thrown to the media wolves and are forced to handle some tricky questions. People are saying that it's you in the sex tape. What? Some crumble under the pressure, while others shine at a high-stakes, glammed-out fashion event. In a head-to-head -head photo shoot, the models battle to stand out. And this girl's outshining me this whole competition. How is she not going to outshine me again? In judging, Megan finally pulls ahead in the Battle of the Blondes. Lindsay lands in the bottom two for the second time in a row. There's throw your head back and then there's too far. But it's Rebecca who finally gets sent packing. Five girls remain who will be eliminated tonight. was always one step ahead of me. And then we had a photo shoot together, and I did shine out of the two of us, which was a big confidence boost. It's like I said, as soon as she, like, comes into it, she's just going to be like, bam, and then skyrocket. And I predicted it, and now it's happened, and... Hi, ladies. Be strong. This can all get to the best of us. I need to find myself again. Rebecca seemed to become very upset and withdraw from everybody. I'm glad that she went home. I thought she drove me f crazy. Yeah. All right, girls, do you want to find out what it's like at the top? Take a look out your window. I can see you, but can you see me? What? Meet me in 20 minutes. Jay, where you at? Jay, where are, are you? Can you see Tower? Oh! <laughs> I so, CN Tower, and we're like excited, except for me. Hey, okay. you guys, I gotta lose my shirt. I don't do heights well. And same with elevators. You look at Nikita, you think, oh, this girl that's, you know, really tough and kind of looks badass. And you just want to, like, shake her and be like, Nikita, you need to chill. Hello? It's Rebecca. Oh my God, that's Rebecca. Canada's Next Top Model winner, Cycle 2. Rebecca, she dyed her hair. She looks great. <laughs> I know that you guys are probably extremely stressed out right now. I totally can relate. I have done more in the past little while than most people get to do in their entire lifetime. Is this a realistic pace, this competition? Yeah. When it comes to the business, this is very much what it's like. It's very last minute. It's very go, go, go. It's competitive. There's going to be so much thrown at you last minute, like, get on a plane, go here, go there, meet this person. We are in the tallest building in North America, and it kind of looks like the view from my apartment in New York. Yeah, it does. Would you guys like to see what my apartment view looked like? Yeah. Well, I mean, I could show you a picture, or you could just go to New York City. <laughs> We've been talking about casting. <laughs> Meeting designers, you're off to do your ghosting. You better have gotten your damn passport. Like they told me that it's coming. Earlier on the competition, when the others went to the Bahamas and you couldn't, I provided you with a special photo shoot. This time, in fairness to the other girls, I can't. You're going to have to stay in Toronto. So with that being said, you guys are off to New York City. Good New luck. York. New York! New York! Rebecca. New York is like the place to be if you want to be a model. It's the center of the fashion world. I know that you guys don't get it. New York? Not that we're... Evolved. Okay, we, we're not huge in the industry, but we've been around. We've seen things. Go see the most horrible things in the world. In Singapore, I went to 10 go sees a day, and I never landed a job because I was a fat ass. I think it's going to be such an amazing experience, and we're so excited, but on the downside, they're just going to chew me up and spit me out because my hips are too big. Now it's kind of like, oh, okay, if I don't step it up, then I'm going to be kicked off. I know Nikita's kind of worried, too. I wish, Miriam, that you could come as a friend. Mm -hmm. Like, I feel really bad for you. 
I'm so excited for New York. <gasps> so excited. It's only actually going to be four of us because Miriam has to stay home yet again. us off here in the president's suite like oh maybe obama stayed here oh, hey, Mel. hey girls welcome to new york city my hometown you guys know you're going on go sees today well here's how it's going to work you've got two minutes to get out the door you have $100 cash to get around the city, a map, your portfolio, an LG cell phone with your first appointment, and a pre-programmed number. When you finish each go see, text that number and you'll be texted back the location of your next appointment. I can't even tell you how important this is for you guys to make an amazing impression. You're in New York City. Work it out. I was so pumped. I'm in a race. I need to go, go, go. I have never been more ecstatic in my life than to navigate my dyslexic self through a city with a hundred bucks. I was so happy. Did a little sprint to the street, hopped in a cab. It was basically a tie who got to the road first, and then I waved a cab down and Megan took it. Bitch. Can I take you? Can I take you? Me? Me? Hey, buddy, not even I sir. I totally hailed it. Pissed me off so much. I thought Nikki was going to have a mental breakdown. She was, like, sopping wet and angry. It's like, oh, no. Here it comes. I don't know how to do this taxi thing. It was basically a tie who got to the road first, and then I waved a cab down and Megan took it. Hey, buddy, not even fair. I totally hailed it. Bitch. I don't know how to do this taxi thing. I didn't even know how to hail a taxi. Like, I didn't know what side of the road you had to be on, if there was, like, rules about these things. So I'm kind of, like, walking in the middle of the road, like, uh, <laughs> taxi. They gave us, like, Two minutes to like drop our stuff so I to put my skinny jeans in my purse and just changed in the cab. Richie Rich, Richie Rich, 264 West 19. Nikita, How nice are you? to meet you. Good to meet you. I can wait on here. Yeah, no problem. Yes, perfect. I was just ecstatic. Not good. Megan was a really great walk. I would cast her in two seconds flat. How did it go? It was just awkward. I think that Megan's mind was totally like, I got this on lockdown. I'm not too worried about it because I will give 110% and that's just my personality. Nikita's personality was a little reserved for runway. I don't know if she's really my cup of tea. How much farther is it gonna be? I really like Lindsay. There was an ease to her walk. The only thing that I personally am not a big fan of is tattoos. Thinking about the ghosties was kind of like, oh my god. <laughs> These people see thousands of girls. I don't know about Heather. She didn't wear high heels to her casting. She wore biker boots. <laughs> Heather, I love you, but like, just don't do that. <laughs> There's no need to wear heels from A to B. It's once you get to B is when you have to put on the heels. So I pack flat. <laughs> Lindsay is a pretty girl, but we tend to go pretty, but more with an edge. It's a tough game here. Nikita has a really strong look. Fantastic. Yeah, I love that. She really. had the best photograph. But I don't necessarily think that she's right for Cynthia Steffi. <laughs> Megan seemed to walk well. Her photos were nice. For runway, I would probably book her. For print, I don't know that I'm that big a fan.
first to East Street? Or East First Street? Oh, yeah. When I do ghosties, we'll have like maybe 150 girls come by. So, like, in and out, look at the model and just size her up in a second. So, walking towards the end, doing all this, she's a little too much of all that. Heather has a very fresh look, but she didn't quite have enough edge. She had a bit of an attitude. We needed a little bit more. I would not book Heather yet. My Avenue, 10th floor. Lindsay has a very sassy appearance. After a couple of outfits, she nailed it. The problem with that becomes the industry doesn't usually give you more than one chance. Thank you. Never very forget well. your book. Very important. You have a really nice walk. Kind of move your head a little bit when you're walking. The head bobble is something Megan needs to work on. But I would book Megan for runway. I left it at my last location. I don't need to see a lot on you because I've been around long enough to see a girl who photographs well. Thank you. I've seen some beautiful girls today, but I think you're very special. Thank you. Yeah. You can put your shoes on now. Yeah. Or your boots. With Heather, I definitely see her not so much in my shows in New York. I think more of a Miami show, an LA show. Thank you so much. We had to be at the modeling agency by five at the latest. I need a taxi. I just want to get back to see how I did. No? I'm ready. To me, Heather is like the quintessential pretty blonde girl. I liked her better in person mm -hmm. than her look. This is completely different. Mm -hmm. Come to VNY Model Management at 928 Broadway. Be there by five, no later. Okay. 928, 928 Broadway. I was fine until the last casting, which was Tibby. I had to walk ten times, and then I had to walk again. Yeah, go one more time. Yeah, Work on your shoulders. Great. Nikita was probably my least favorite of all the models that I saw today. Oh. A taxi, so I started running. We're on Broadway. I'm at 666. I need to get to 928. I'm running and I'm running and I'm running, and I get to 860 something. And there's no more buildings. I'm out of breath. I'm dyslexic, and I'm by myself in a stupid city. I basically held out 40 bucks, waved over a cab, and said, I need to get to 928 Broadway. I'll give you 40 bucks if you can get me there in like two minutes. I was terrified. I hate being late. No later than five. No <laughs> later than five. I just threw 50 bucks out the window, and I still wasn't on time. Hi. Surprise! Surprise! Hi. Elmer comes in, and it was like, oh, wow, where did you come from? I'm the guy who's been texting you all day. Oh. Yeah. Girls, ghosties are the most important thing in our industry. All right, I've got lots of information here. Now, Nikita, you were late getting back, and that makes a really bad impression on me, your potential agent. So I'm not even going to look at your assessment right now. Kind of a bad move. I felt horrible. Here's what some of the designers had to say. Lindsay, 
had a different look. That's really positive from an agent's point of view. It's better to have a different look than not have a look at all. Megan, great runway, pretty fresh. Sometimes when a girl is referred to as pretty and fresh, she may not book that Chanel show. Yeah. Heather with the flat boots on. Heather, Heather, Heather has a young, pretty appeal, but needs more edge. You know, beautiful blondes we have to sort of work on and get them a bit of an edge, but still keep them blonde. It's a fine line. So girls, after grading and adding up all the points today, there are two girls at the top. And you know what, girls? The two at the top were so close. The winner of the New York Go Sees is... Megan. I did not get me even live by the industry like I was told I was going to. Oh, she's one of the most horrible things in the world. The fact that Summer Olsen was there and knew that I won the challenge was really nice. <laughs> Lindsay, you really did well. Seriously, you were almost there. All right, girls, take care. Bye-bye. Lindsay and Megan did well in the castings, and that is huge. It's so important. You don't get to know who is that. You than me, obviously. <laughs> Heather and Nikita, who had always been above me throughout this competition, were now below. That was so much fun. I was at the top and I kind of plummeted, so I'm definitely nervous. Being in New York was the most exciting thing I have ever done in my entire life. Our hotel was a couple blocks away from Times Square, so we all strapped on our heels and went and walked down. No! <laughs> Small town Canadian girls, first time to the Big Apple. I'm in New York City! And the atmosphere was nothing like in Winnipeg. People were literally following us around with cameras, so that was a very strange feeling, but you know, it's kind of fun. And competition is far from over. If you want to score a perfect 10, you'll have to do it by a hair. By a hair? Yeah. It just felt like we were the final four in New York in the limo. All we talked about was, I bet Miriam is setting up her own photo shoot right now. I imagine she gets her own photo shoot at home with the camera. Bring the <laughs> pictures to judging. No, wait, wait, wait. I felt bad for Miriam because she's a really nice girl and everything, but I didn't feel like she was missing. <laughs> I really missed them. When they're gone, like, I realized that how, you know, I'm really used to them. And it was, you know, I really missed them. Hey, good to see you in my hometown. And welcome to 235th, the most spectacular rooftop lounge in New York City. Good morning, girls. I am Sutan, and I'm the lead makeup artist on America's Next Top Model. Today, girls, we're going to be doing two shots each, portraying two different people. Then we're going to compile them down to one photo. And in this photo, you're going to be interacting with your alter ego, and that is not easy. To help you out with this whole process, we are actually going to change your hair color today. <laughs> with the help of Perfect 10 by Nice and Easy. My hair is black. How are you going to do that? <laughs> We're going to actually use wigs today. <laughs> okay. Let's get down to hair and makeup. We were having two shoots that day, uh, two looks each. The challenge is they have to imagine themselves in both roles. One is the glamour diva, and the other one is that of a crew member, hairstylist, makeup artist, photographer. Right now, I'm in my nerd getup. I just keep walking around like all lanky, and I keep putting my glasses on and... <gasps> Just trying to get into that persona. Nikita, you're totally into your subject, which is Kate, who is standing in for your diva alter ego. Shoot yourself. You know you love yourself. You wish to be that girl. My go sees didn't go too well yesterday. I have to step up my game, and I know that, so I'm just trying to be a perfectionist in the last leg of the competition. Sorry, but... Yeah, <laughs> nerdy fight would just be nerdy. I was kind of unsure how to be nerdy, because I'm not nerdy. Some people are just born cool, and I'm one of them. <laughs> now remember, you're still modeling. you got to look beautiful. I think the one who's actually at the highest stake is probably Lindsay, because she's always just been coasting. Tension, good. 
I knew that after being in the bottom two twice in a row, that if this photo shoot did not deliver what the judges were looking for, I'd be gone. I'm the nerdy stylist assistant. Just get to wear my own glasses, which is kind of cool. Act like you're gonna pin it. Not so modelly. You're a little too. It's really setting in that this is a competition. We can see the finish line. But if any of us blow this photo shoot, we're going home. I'm the nerdy sort of makeup artist on set. Okay, now remember, you're still modeling. You gotta look beautiful. The situation with Megan is actually pretty stressful. But I'm thinking the judges might be like, hey, we only need one blonde, blue-eyed girl. So today, I'm really gonna try to bring it. That's it. Thank you. Thank you. See you guys in a minute. That was just the first one. We got one more to go. I think having to have two great shots in one to make one great shot is going to be more stressful than usual. My role was to combine the two alter egos. I thought that they should look a little bit Marilyn Manson and a little Studio 54. It's that kind of a day where you can just totally kind of be a rock star about it. I definitely would like to see a channel something that's a little bit more glamorous. Oh, right? I can definitely be glamorous. Yeah. You really need to bring it in these shoots. It's down to the wire. Essentially the final four here because Miriam, of course, is back at home. <laughs> There's supposed to be a fifth girl here with us. She, for the second time in the competition, had to be held back because she didn't have a passport. Last time they gave her a photo shoot there, this time they're like, we already helped you at once. Yeah. I was really sad that I couldn't go away, but since I couldn't go to New York, I thought if I do something all of it by myself, my makeup, my wardrobe, a photo shoot, it means something for the judges. I can't work with a professional photographer because it's really, really expensive. So I had a friend, so I called him out of nowhere. And I said, this is an emergency. I want you to do this for me. I don't know what I'm going to do in my photo shoot at all. It's not a professional photographer, like the best photographer, but I'll uh, see what happens. There was just like exactly like this much white wall that I couldn't move. Like That's all we had. They had a gecko. I wanted to use him too. This shows to the judges that yeah, I will come up with something to work in this business. Today we're in New York and with this great skyline in back of me. We had for ten hair color. We had two time for makeup. We had phenomenal clothes. We're wearing like haute couture, really, really nice um, gowns for our second look. And we're getting wigs. And I think I overheard I'm getting red hair. You guys, this is Danielle. Hello. She's here with Hi. Perfect Ten. So we've colored all of these wigs with Perfect Ten. Perfect Ten is gonna give a great high gloss, shiny look to the wigs in just 10 minutes. We're looking for you to embody a very high powered, successful, fashionable superstar model. I have a black, nice and easy Perfect Ten in my hair right now. So. Wow. Wow. How are you liking that? I love it. Actually. <laughs> <laughs> I'll just channel some diva. Let's see how that works out. <laughs> This is so couture. This is very fabulous. Beautiful. Now remember, act like she's fixing your glove. It was kind of difficult to match the actions of what I did earlier today. Megan has been giving me great B pluses, and I'm really looking for an A. Not sure if she gave me an A yet. Before last week, I was having doubts like whether I should be here. This week, I'm feeling a lot more confident. I'm in New York, I'm sophisticated, I'm rich, I'm glamorous, and just hopefully bring that out of my photos. Are you ready for this transformation? Here we go. You look amazing. How do you feel with this gorgeous red? I feel like a completely different person. You're super glamorous. Good. Do you see how color can transform you? Who was your photographer? Was it actually Amber or was it yourself? No. So then well, you don't want me to look at the camera? Look down at yourself. Yep. Every past the key has always come on the set with some sort of problem, an ache, a pain, an upsetness. But today, none of that. I totally feel like I hit the nail on the head with both photos. I, I'm definitely hoping that this picture will keep me around for another week. Gotcha. When you change awesome. the color of your hair, I think women go through almost a personality transformation. Ooh. It affects so much how you feel. Who are you? Person. Oh my god, you're like a little geisha. Are you feeling it yet? I am. I love the color. I'm actually loving it. I kind of want to go home and dye my hair this color right now. That's not natural. 
Heather was a little bit awkward with her body language. She kind of had a hard time finding her position. When it's not comfortable and it's not easy, that's why it looks good in the camera. I feel more confident about this photo shoot than I have about other ones. That's it. After the photo shoot, I was like, can I, can I just look? Because I realized I don't know if I'll ever be there again. How do you feel? Blonde. No, the hair, the makeup, the dress. I feel like Glamour Barbie. So when you're sitting there, I want you to be leaning back, feeling glamorous, making sure your dress is floating. Lean back. Lindsay got it after we definitely told her what to do. Watch your eye level. That's it. I'm learning as I go. Whether or not I'm accomplishing that 100%, I won't know until I see the photos. Gotcha. Oh, how was it? Out of my hands now, so. I think my judges will have quite high expectations for my performance this week. I did have photo of the week last week. I think it went, like, okay. I don't think it was amazing or anything. I was able to capture this glamour feel. Um, whether it comes across in the photo or not, I really have no idea. I'm tired, I'm hungry, I'm exhausted, and I could run a marathon right now. I feel just like an adrenaline rush. Hey guys, you came, you saw, and uh, hopefully you conquered. Well, this is New York City. Remember, this is the city that never sleeps, nor should you, because there's $5,000 on this Visa card. You do the math. Uh, no way, no oh way. Oh my God. Oh my God. Ah! <laughs> oh my God. Have some fun. Oh my God. I was like, what do rich people do? <laughs> it's not just a party night in the Bahamas. It's five grand New in New York, York City. We believe it was 5,000 because it was supposed to be 1,000 each. But because Miriam wasn't there, it was five for four girls. Too bad. So sad. Uh, her loss was our gain, so we split amongst ourselves. So we have 12.50 each. We didn't feel bad at all for keeping your money. Get your passport, damn it. Then maybe you'll get some cheddar. That extra grand that's supposed to be Miriam. <laughs> Should we get her a t-shirt? I heart NY. Here we go. We got Miriam an I heart NY t-shirt. So, um, yeah, we got her a little something something. That's the best words you can hear when you're in New York. Here's five grand go shopping. <laughs> Toronto and we're strutting into the limo. Miriam! We got your present. Yay! We got you a shirt. <laughs> it's so important for me to make it to top four because I want this more than anything. I'm really nervous because I have no idea if they're gonna like my photo and they're not gonna like my photo. I think Miriam should go home today. She wasn't prepared for the trip and if you're a model and you aren't prepared, you lose the job. I think New York was a little infectious. There are five styling looking models standing in front of me. The life of a model on the go all the time. But that just takes you one step closer to our amazing prizes. First up, a modeling contract with top agency Elmer Olsen Models. And you met Elmer this week. An editorial spread in Fashion Magazine. And then a $100,000 contract with P&G Beauty, makers of Olay and Perfect 10 by nice and easy. Now our judges are raring to go. First, highly sought after celebrity and fashion photographer, Mr. Mike Ruiz. Welcome home, girls. <laughs> Supermodel of the world. I love when I say that. I know. Yasmin Warsame, fashion editor and probably one of the most hardworking journalists because she talked her voice out at Toronto Fashion Week, Miss Jeannie Becker. Girls, you look amazing, but I may have to mime my way through the judging. <laughs> And our special guest judge this week, one of the designers you met with in New York, and he is no stranger to the fashion scene, Mr. Richie Rich. Hey, girls. It's great seeing you in New York. You look fabulous, but even more fabulous here in Toronto. Hello. <laughs> Megan, you're up first. Yay. 
Well, first of all, let's just talk about you had such a wonderful opportunity this week getting to not only go to New York, but to meet with designers and go on go sees, which is a huge part of a model's career. The judges don't know this, but I know you were the challenge winner. Wow. So, right. first time in this competition. When she walked through the door, I'm like, hasn't she been in our shows before? I just thought you were like a model that you've done it a million times in New York. That you also had a photo shoot. And this was a little tricky because what? you had to be shot twice and we were compositing the two individual photos to create one photo where you had to play your alter ego. So let's take a look at your best shot. You're seeing Megan as a stylist working on Megan the supermodel diva. What do you guys think of the diva face? It's complete departure from the Megan that we see in front of us. It's um, quite an impressive transformation. Your face as your alter ego it conveys a real kind of drama that I haven't seen in you before. I think it's sensational. She gives me almost the feeling of Coco Rocha, one of my favorite models, you know, with that strong jawline. Beautiful. What I love about Megan, the stylist in the shot, is that you went back to the demure side of you. You know, we can see how far you can go from one extreme to the other, which is a very important quality for a model to have. Thanks, Megan. Thank you. Nikita, you're next. How was your casting experience? Horrible. I looked like crap. Um, my hair got curly and frizzy in the rain. Well, let's take a look at your best shot. I would have liked your alter ego picture a little bit more exaggerated pose. It's a bit too relaxed for me. This is a chance for you to use your arms and, you know, spread yourself out. The photographer is looking a wee bit Urkel. Typically, your critique is that your body language is a little off. And here, your face is too off. There's a way of giving that kind of Prada-esque, kind of plain Jane, geeky without it looking geeky. In fashion, it's all about fantasy, and there's something too real about that job. Yeah. I don't think this is 100% dynamic where you are concerned. Thanks, Nikita. All right, Lindsay, you're next. Can we just mention that Lindsay was hot on the tail of Megan? for the ghosties and some of the things that they said that shocked me to death. Confident stride walking right into the room. Definitely. And when you came into my studio, you were like, you were like a bolt of fire, like lightning. Really? I took this cat suit from my new collection, which nobody can wear, and she rocked it on and looked amazing in it. To step into New York and find that kind of focus really impressed me. So let's see how you can impress the judges with your alter ego. This is Geek Chic that yeah. works. A hairstylist, they're an artist. So when you're working on your art piece, you're focused. And that's why you've had like the tension in the arms. And then with the beauty, it's like, do my hair. I'm beautiful. Do well, my you hair. Know what? And that's exactly that's, what I get from it. You know, like totally you, that kind of diva detachment. It's amazing to hear that that's what you were thinking and that it's so visible in this photograph. I like that week after week we've been seeing you grow and that you take whatever we tell you and you come back and you give it to us. I'm really impressed that you've kind of stepped off this plateau. Thank you. All right, Heather. How was your trip? It was amazing. I thought you were adorable when you came into my studio because she kind of clumped in a little bit, like kind of like an East Village girl. She had like, these like little motorcycle boots on, and she's like, well, I didn't bring heels. <gasps> what? You didn't bring heels? Yes. Rule number one of the model survival guide, you put your heels on until the designer the says take them off. You want to make that first impression count. You want to make sure that you look fierce. Really surprising to me, you came in last place. Only two of the designers out of the five felt that they would actually book you. Remember always, you're selling yourself as the brand. Well, let's okay. take a look at how you did on your photo shoot. Ooh, I love how she's bending her Let's punch in. Yeah, the that diva, holy crap. I mean, the diva is wearing me out. I gotta tell you, I love it. The body, the head position, the... the face of the makeup artist is a little blank. It's just too, too literal. What I love about Lindsay's photo is you could actually see she was the artiste, she was involved. I feel the naive makeup artist is just literally too, too much the plain Jane Heather. When I got that black hair on, like, I loved it, so maybe I was just a little too into the diva. All right, so thanks, Heather. Thank you. Thank you. Miriam, you didn't get an opportunity to travel to New York this week. 
I couldn't have my passport yet. So I started to think to have to come up with something. So I remember that I had a friend five years ago and he used to be a photographer. I went to their house, I uh, photographed my back and my head. So they had a gecko which I put on my back because that represents that if the gecko cuts the tail, the gecko will grow the tail one more time. Symbolize my life. If I uh, like lose the opportunity, I will grow it for myself, right? The photo that I have is not like this at all. Miriam, the mini series. <laughs> this is the photo you took? I will take this photo, and when the judges deliberate, we will consider this. You do have a body of work that the judges can look at. That is how you will be evaluated this week. But I just want to make it clear, you're at a disadvantage. Those four girls behind you met many designers in New York. They had experiences that you don't have now. With that being said, I love that you didn't just lay around the house. To go out and try and find a photographer and present us with something, to me it demonstrates how badly you want to still be a part of this competition and more importantly the business i admire you for all of your efforts and you know and certainly your passion everything he said i agree so we will look at this photo during our deliberations thanks miriam thank you this deliberation is going to be a bit long a lot to discuss a lot of things to evaluate this week so when i call you back in i'll let you know which one of you is going home That's all I want to say. <laughs> it's not about do we like them, do we not like them. It's are they viable models in the business. Megan. For me, Megan is a front runner in the competition right now. She's not floating your boat, is she, no. Mama? Megan just stood there with this fabulous background that's this beautiful garment, and she's just not doing anything. And this little hand up there, just not doing anything for me. I just sort of think that's okay. I personally love her. I think she doesn't realize that she's got the body. She just needs to work the face a little more. Why don't you talk about your good girlfriend, Nikita? I don't think this is one of Nikita's best shots by a long stretch. <laughs> by a long stretch. Well, I, I, you know, I don't. <laughs> Do you like anything about it? Uh, I, you know, I like... The, the building? The Empire <laughs> <laughs> I love her geeky alter ego that she's portraying in here. I'm not supposed Nikita. She stood before me today and I wasn't feeling it. Lindsay. I had ruled Lindsay out, but after today, she changed my mind. She breezed into my studio and I was just like, cool, she's a model. This is one of my favorite pictures today. I think, um, what, what I like about it is the intensity and the level of commitment. I'm really proud of Lindsay for uh, playing the underdog and coming right on top just when the competition's getting really tough. Heather. I do like the diva here. I think it's kind of amazing she comes off this Oh, way. no, it's called fierce hair makeup. Yeah, I think she's a little timid and meek, you know? And she was like that at the fitting, too. I don't know what you're all talking about. This photo is gorgeous. She looks fierce, and I know a lot of it is hair and makeup, but that's the point. She's a model. I just feel that Heather fails to connect on a lot of levels. Miriam, do you want to look at this photo? Yeah, I do. Yeah, I do too. I'm curious. curious. All right. <clears throat> and I love it. So I just see her, just pure and simple. Miriam, and I still think she is stunning. Of all the girls, to me, she's the most compelling. And as a human being, I, I feel like crying looking at this picture. And it's the most beautiful effort. With that said, it's too much drama for me. It's too much. I want a girl who's just going to walk in and look, hi, how are you? I had a fabulous day today, and I'm ready to work. Her book is beautiful. Do you like her book, yes or no? No. Do you like her book? I like her book. Do you like I'm her book? I'm a fan of Do you Mary like her book? To... Come see, come see. I guess we made our decision. There are five of you standing before us, and there definitely are only four photos in my hands. These four photos represent the four young women who will continue on in hope of becoming Canada's next top model. This was an extremely challenging deliberation. First name I'm gonna call, who has photo of the week, for the first time, Lindsay. This is a great photo, but you know what? It's late in the competition, Lindsay. Don't get overly confident, but congratulations. You're still in the running. Thank you. Thank you. Next time I'm going to call. Megan. 
You went to New York and you got noticed. Thank you. Congratulations. Thanks, guys. The three of you were the debate across the board. At this point, it's about being true to the profession, true to the art, true to the business. And can you succeed? Anyone figure this out? With me? Miriam. The reason I'm holding a blank photograph is because we cannot consider that photo in the competition. So you have no photo this week for your book. The judges felt that your body of work spoke volumes and that coupled with your true passion and drive to be a part of this business, that you will go for your dream. You're going to have to push that much harder, Miriam. Thanks. Linda Keita and Heather, please step forward. I would have never thought to see the two of you standing together. The two of you went to New York City, and both of you disappointed. Came in last place. Both of you had photos that were okay. So at the end of this long discussion, who will book the job? I do have one photo in my hands. Whoever's name I do not call must go back to their house, pack their bags, and go home. I guess there's something to be said for a little charm and personality, Nikita. find a way to dazzle and look like that product in that book. You are your brand. No excuses, okay? Congratulations. You're still in the running towards becoming Canada's next top model. <laughs> you know what, Heather? At the end of the day, you got to go out there and you just need to do and deliver. Oh. I know it sounds bad, but I think I'm feeling a little bit relieved, actually. I kind of realized when I was in New York that maybe modeling wasn't what I want to do. I'm not really that person, and I'm okay with that. I realized that I'm not meant to do this. I want to do something else. I honestly had the most amazing experience. I wouldn't trade it for anything. My heart really just wasn't in it. On an all-new Canada's Next Top Model. Well, well, well. Let's go. As the competition because heats up. It's tough. It's so hard. I have the legs. I got the walk. The models prove they can walk the walk. I do not lose. It's not even an option. But can they rock the frock? I'm good. <laughs> Compose yourself. We gotta get this shot. A new episode of Canada's Next Top Model. Next Tuesday at 8, 7 central on CTV. Brought to you in part by CoverGirl Exact Highlights Mascara. Get four times spread.